Greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ, and all who have ears to hear. Now, this video is going to be a hard rebuke as certain parents that want to bring their kids to Las Vegas Strip for a good time. Now, me as a preacher who regularly goes out there on Las Vegas Strip, you know, it's very normal for me to see kids. You know, I'm... I'm I'm used to seeing kids, but you know, when I just take a step back and really think about it, there shouldn't be kids on Las Vegas Strip. You know, a place called Sin City, a place that glorifies sin, a place that glorifies the botry, you know, to the utmost. Why are kids being exposed to this stuff? And see people, this just shows you the level of immorality the nation is at right now. It just also shows you um, the type of parents we have in America. Because if you expose, if you if you would expose your your kid, your daughter, your young daughter, your young son to half naked men and women on Las Vegas Strip, it's just like what are, what else are you doing to them? Like, what else would you expose them to in private? Because in public, you know, obviously you're walking with your kid and stuff in Las Vegas, full of, you know, alcoholics, um, all types of weird people, women half naked. You know, they yeah, you have half naked little girl cars everywhere. You're exposing your children to this stuff at a young age. How do you treat your kids at home? And this is a serious question to you parents, because I, I find it very hard for me to believe like you would want your son to grow up respecting women when you're exposing your son to these half naked women. Or even worse yet, some parents have their kids take take pictures with these half naked people. All these all these um weird demons out here on Las Vegas Strip. You know, all those little horror stuff and, you know, Freddy Krueger. Like, like, parents, what are we doing? We, this is why as parents, it, well, I'm not a parent, but this is why as, as a parent, you need to be teaching your kids the laws of God. So the Bible says in Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Because I don't know if you know this, folks. You can even look this up, um, research, statistics. Like, it, it's important. This first seven years of a child, it's very important for their development as a child. The first seven years are very, very crucial as a child. You know, the things are, the things they're learning, things they're being exposed to. And that's why God tells you, tells us in his word to train up a child in the way he should go. This is why God wants you to train his children up um, in holiness and righteousness and his commandments. Because God knows what, what happens God knows the, the the developmental stage of kids and stuff like this. Because parents, you need to understand these kids. Um, these kids are God's kids. These are these are all your your kids that you take care of belong to the Lord, and you're gonna be judged by the way you treat your kids and ways you raise your kids. So if you think it's okay to be a, you know, just a lazy parent, you think it's okay to be a a parent of debauchery, and you think um, God's gonna hold you accountable. Because your kids seeing that? No, God's gonna hold you accountable. So look in Mark nine forty two, it says, "And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea." But Jesus is taking this stuff very seriously, folks. God is not playing around about his kids. I know this country, this nation might hate kids. This, I know this nation loves abortion. This nation loves. I mean, you got you got pedophiles everywhere. Uh, I know I know this nation don't care about kids, but the Lord Jesus Christ cares about his kids. And God's gonna hold you accountable as a parent if you don't teach your kids the laws of God. So as a parent, like you need to wake up, you need to snap out of it, you need to get yourself together and, and start being an example to your kid. Because there's no reason why you out here getting drunk, you out here pounding all this other stuff, and you feel like you have you gotta have a good time, you feel like you need to release stress and you have a responsibility as a parent so you have kids 
So you feel like, well, let me just take my kids to Las Vegas with me. You can have a good time. And no, no, because number one, sin is not having a good time, period. You know, being in a place full of sin, you're not going to have a good time. And, and now your kid, now your, now your children are watching you as an example what it means to have a good time or, you know, what, what, what this place is. Cause now and now, how can a kid think? Think about it, folks. These kids nowadays are being exposed to so much, you know, just the on degrading stuff, you know, on TikTok and music and movies. You got all this disgusting stuff being pushed out, and all these platforms, even in kid platforms, is being pushed out. All the debauchery, and so the the Satan is coming for the kids, and it doesn't make it better when when you have um you know reprobate parents. Who are not doing their job it doesn't make it better when you have parents who are not guarding your kids parents who are not protecting your kid because there's no reason why why i see people you know with baby scrollers on las vegas Strip. I'm just, it just blows my mind i'm just like like what is it for a kid really to do in las vegas Strip? i mean yeah there's like the eminem place and stuff like that but las vegas is known a lot of Vegas Strip, that stuff is known for, you know, sin, crazy stuff. Things that are not really for kids should be exposed to. And you have all these half-naked men and women out here. These people have no shame. They have no shame taking pictures, you know, walking around butt naked in front of these kids. I mean, these are the type of people who will make horrible parents. Horrible parents. Because if a woman has no shame, I mean, if a woman, if a man or woman has no shame, being butt naked, exposing themselves, a friend of little kids, not even thinking about, you know, what what can this do to a little kid or you know all this other stuff, like you don't even have you have no moral compass. Think about the type of parent that would be, and, and people wonder why. All this stuff like child abuse increasing, human tra all child trafficking, all this stuff's increasing because you have a whole population of just perverts. You have a whole population of people who who don't who you have a whole population of people who don't fear God and people who just love pleasure. And you have a whole generation of just selfish people, selfish parents, narcissistic people everywhere. And you have now you have kids being being affected. You have you have kids being taken advantage of. Because um because adults don't want to grow up because because the adults want to have a good time. They want to re relieve stress. Well, as a parent, you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility as a parent. You're gonna be held accountable for the things you teach your kid. And also, people out here, even if you don't have kids, you're gonna be you're gonna be responsible for your lifestyle, the things you expose the kids. So if you so if you're out here. You know, smoking dope, selling drugs, and you see, you see kids being influenced by you. You're gonna be held accountable too. This is why it's important to get right with Christ, people, because God's gonna hold you accountable for your lifestyle. And God does send children to hell. God does send children to hell. The age of accountability. I mean, God knows when that is, but, you know, if, if a kid knows right from wrong, he's going to be held accountable to God. The Bible, one of the um, fifth commandment, God says, honor your father and your mother. You know, honor your father and your mother. But a generation of kids that's grown up with perversion and TikTok and violent gaming and all this wild, cruel joking and, you know, Twitch streaming and YouTube streaming. But these kids are not learning how to respect their mother and father. That's why these kids are so rebellious. These kids are out here, they're doing things in their parents' house. I mean, I remember when I was ministering to one, one woman, one, one, well, yeah, one woman. And I think she told me about the story that I, one of her daughters do like a crazy party when she left and stuff like that. And I think she said the cops got involved. And it's just like, that's just crazy, folks. Like people have no fear 
of their parents and they have no respect. Kids have no respect for their parents nowadays. They have no respect for their parents nowadays. Kids out here um, cussing at their parents. Kids out here smoking dope. Kids out here, you know, doing all types of disgusting stuff in their parents' house. They have no shame. They have no shame. They feel entitled to. They think it's, they think it's okay. They think it's funny. You know, kids out, kids out here do anything for likes. To have a platform. To feel like they're accepted. To, to feel like their life matters. Because at home, because their mother and father aren't doing their job to, to show love for them and to teach them that they're already enough. God says they're enough. God says they're fearfully, wonderfully made. But they don't know that because their parents are too busy, you know, in outer space doing something. Their, their parents are too busy, you know, boohooing about themselves and their problems. And now their kids got to, now their, now their kids got to, you know, Feel the effects of it. And then you have a lot of kids who grow up with generational curses, you know. Because because parents don't want to submit to God. Because parents never grew up. They never fixed their problems. And they never, they never gave their problems over to the Lord. And other kids going to deal with the same problem. Mothers and fathers out here, they're alcoholics. They couldn't overcome. And now, and now their, their little son, all they see is them getting drunk. Every time after a bad day at work, the parent wants to go inside the fridge and get drunk. Parents start slandering, cussing, throwing bottles, getting aggressive. And the kids see that. And they think it's okay. They think it's normal. The kid, what, um, the kid listens to all this, you know, trap, gangster music, all about violence. Kid goes on social media, sees all these half-naked women. Uh, folks, what do you think kids are going to grow up to? Right? What do you think are the uh, the nation, the youth growing up? Do you think what do you think our nation is going to look like in the future? Of people who just love wickedness. They drink the wine of violence and eat the bread of wickedness. Look, folks, I'm going to Proverbs 2020. Whoso curses, who, whoso curses his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Okay, so what God promised people, what God promised, if you honor your father and your mother, you'll have long life. But it says in Proverbs 2020, if, if you curse your father or your mother, your lamp shall be put out. That means you will not have a long life if you disrespect your parents. Are you hearing me? If you do not respect, if you do not honor your mother and your father, if you treat your, your mother and your father, you know, like they're trash, you don't listen to anything they do, you don't respect them, you, know, you treat them like dirt. Look, bro, you're, you're going to have a very short life. I don't know what kid I'm talking to or whatever. It goes for even adults too. Even if you're an adult and if you still disrespect your parent, look. You're not going to have a long life. Because if you can't respect your, your earthly parents, how can, you, how, how can you respect your heavenly parent, your, your, your father God? You know what I'm saying? If you can't respect your mother or your father here on earth, how, how can you respect your heavenly father? You gotta do better, people. You gotta do better because you can be an evil child. They can be you can they can be evil. you can be an evil child and still go to hell. You can go to hell just like a regular adult. You go to hell because you know right from wrong, but you just filled your mind with all types of wicked devices. Became a repubate. Cause look in Genesis, was it Gen yeah Genesis nineteen four. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah. It was it was young and old. That's around at Lot's house. It was young and old. Old people and young people. They were down to, you know, 
do some disgusting things a lot. And how do people get like that? I mean, how do how do oh, how do young people get like that, bro? When the adults, when the adults are caught in sexual morality, when the adults are depraved, they're gonna make the children depraved. Why do you think all these uh, satanic agendas is going after the kids, and the parents aren't doing anything about it? Look, this generation of parents, they're they're not protecting the kids because this generation of parents, they they. they they lack a fear of God. This generation of parents, they, they don't care about God. And they don't they don't care about their families. You got all these um single mothers out here. You got so many fatherless homes out here. And it goes all downhill, people. Because God has a structure. I mean God has a structure, folks, for a reason, you know. Family structure, you know, God, Christ, um, father, mother, then children. You know, but what happens? But what happens though, when the father and mother don't want God, they don't want Christ. Then on top of that, the father leaves. Then on top of that, you know, the mother, you know, she doesn't know what to do. But they all, but they have a, but they have a child though. The child gets neglected. You know, the structure got built is meant it's going to work. It's going to work if people do their part. People do their roles, but if people don't do their roles. If they don't play their parts, then children are going to be affected. Their children are going to be neglected. They're going to be abused. They're going to be mistreated, and that's what's going on right now in this world. You have mothers and fathers not doing their part, and you have children. For being exposed um, to the to the you know ways of darkness, because no one's teaching them about the light of Christ. No one's teaching them about the Lord Jesus. We gotta get right, people. We gotta get right. We gotta get our families right. We gotta get a house in order. We gotta teach our kids the truth, because there's so many lies out there. There's so many lies um, everywhere. TV, movies, music, it just lies everywhere. The enemy is in uh, many people's ears. The enemy is whispering in your kid's ear. And if your kid doesn't know the voice of the Lord, if your kid doesn't know what the word of God says, how can your kid come back? How, how, can, how can your kid fight back? They're going to give in. You got to wake up, people. We got to wake up and take this, take this fight seriously. We got to take our soul seriously because we're not down here very long on this planet. We're not down here very long. And judging by the wickedness of, of this generation, uh, I don't think many people going to live very long anyways. I don't think many people are going to reach old age anyways. Just based off just the debauchery and the, and the depravity, just the, how, you know, the reputation of this generation I don't see many people living very long in, in this um, generation. So we, we, we need to get right with the Lord. We need to fear God and keep his commandments. And as parents, as a parent, you need to do your job and get your household in order. And protect your kid. Get out your comfort zone. Get into warfare. Put your armor of God on. Get close to the Lord. And teach your kid about what's really going on out here. Because if you don't if you don't tell your kid the truth, the devil's gonna come and, t and tell your kid a lie, and the devil's gonna make that lie seem very, you know, appealing and attractive and cool and stuff. And, and your kid, him being him being young, they being young, and, and very easy to be influenced, they're gonna give they don't give they're gonna give into that lie, and they're gonna take hold to that lie, and they're gonna bring that lie to your house, and they're gonna ruin your house. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be frustrating. They're gonna be rebellious. Mhm. Mm and parents, you're gonna, you're gonna bring all types of demons inside your house because you did not teach your kids the ways of the Lord. So get right with God, folks.